The Story of King Jehoash, A Kingdom Restored The story of King Jehoash son of Jehoahaz can be found in the second book of Kings, specifically in chapter 12. In the land of Israel, King Jehoahaz's reign had been short-lived and troubled, as the nation of Israel was in a state of decline and turmoil. When Jehoahaz passed away, the people of Israel were left feeling lost and disheartened. They longed for a ruler who would bring stability, peace, and righteousness to the land. It was at this critical juncture that Jehoash, a mere seven years old, ascended to the throne. In those days, Israel was being oppressed by the neighboring kingdom of Judah. The powerful king of Judah, Amaziah, had entered Jerusalem and seized treasures from the temple, leaving the people of Israel feeling humiliated and weak. But Jehoash had a deep sense of determination and faith in God, which fueled his resolve to restore Israel's former glory. With the help of his loyal advisors and priests, Jehoash embarked on a mission to rebuild the temple and strengthen the nation. He called upon the people of Israel to contribute generously, exemplifying his own dedication by making a significant donation himself. The nation responded, and the once dilapidated temple began to take shape, instilling hope and pride among the citizens. Throughout his reign, Jehoash displayed wisdom and fairness in his judgments. He sought wise counsel and listened to the needs of his people, addressing their concerns and ensuring justice for all. He promoted prosperity, encouraging trade and commerce, which boosted the economy and brought stability to the land. But his achievements were not without challenges. There were those who doubted his abilities due to his youth, and there were constant threats from neighboring kingdoms that sought to exploit Israel's weakened state. However, Jehoash would not be deterred. He placed his trust in God and his own determination to protect his people. One of Jehoash's most significant triumphs came when he confronted the mighty king of Judah, Amaziah, seeking vengeance for the desecration of the temple. With a well-organized army and God's favor, Jehoash succeeded in defeating the invaders and securing a peace treaty, restoring Israel's honor. As the years went by, Jehoash continued to rule with wisdom and righteousness, bringing prosperity, peace, and a renewed sense of purpose to the nation of Israel. The people admired him for his unwavering faith, compassion, and determination to follow God's commandments. But as time passed, the once devoted King Jehoash began to stray from his faithful path. He fell under the influence of corrupt officials, who tempted him with wealth, power, and idolatry. Sadly, Jehoash succumbed to these temptations, turning away from the God who had granted him success and prosperity. In the end, Jehoash's reign ended in tragedy. Despite all his previous achievements, his poor judgment and falling away from God's path brought disaster upon his kingdom. He died, and the legacy he left behind was one of missed opportunities and unfulfilled potential. The story of Jehoash, son of Jehoahaz, serves as a reminder of the importance of remaining steadfast in faith, integrity, and righteousness. It warns against the dangers of straying from God's commandments and the consequences that can arise from succumbing to worldly temptations.